What's up guys, Colger here, we're back with another video. So people have been asking me my opinion on the new patch. I did just do a video talking about why I haven't been playing Black Squad, but I want to go a little bit more in depth on all of the changes that they've made. Let you know my thoughts in the game. And uh, yeah, so here, let's get into it. <clears throat> First of all, I will be talking about competitive in a separate section. Uh, I just want to go over some of the most recent patch notes, talk about some other things other than competitive, even though that is the main thing. So firstly, uh, they made a change to the shop. Um, okay, first of all, let me just break this down. And and I don't know all the information. Like I said, I haven't played Black Squad. So there might be some, some information that I don't have that other people do. I don't really pay attention to the news. But uh, I noticed that in the metal shop, you can no longer get the AK-12. Uh, you actually can't get a lot of guns that you know were pretty important to the to the competitive side uh, you know main weapons that people used i looked in the shop i didn't see it either if there's a different way to get it you know let me know other than buying some skins that are left over on the community market uh but they also took out the ballast on galaxy which i have been saving for the ballast on galaxy for a long time and them taking it out infuriates me uh but what can you do Additionally, you can buy these uh, these BS coin boxes. Um, they are ridiculous. You can't get any perm guns from these. They cost a lot of BS coins. And uh, the highest you can get is a seven day, which is ridiculous. Uh, the, the only skins that are left over that are worth buying would be like the AK-12 Neon. But other than that, there's literally nothing. They took out the best skins i mean the deagle's good the hr you know i prefer but the ak-12's gone the ak-47's gone uh literally everything you can't get anymore on top of that they added some skins now at least for the very you know there's there's one thing that's been good and they've continued to make pretty decent skins i like the new snowflake the brown snowflake ones that they made and these ones while not my style are okay they're all on stupid guns but um you know at least there's something like i said um you know these these skins they're okay i mean they are better than the clip art stuff that ns studios was doing at the end but yeah um and then all these events they just changed to events there's not much there but let's get in the competitive side of stuff I i'm gonna read their words first and then i'm gonna give you my thoughts because their words, they might have a different reasoning uh, for why they're doing what they're doing. As explained in the glint of the previous notices, our plan is to set the, to position competitive match as the individual achievement. Competitive match is filed for you to wield your own skills and strategies. Clan match will take the team play more. Uh, I'm assuming they just want clan match to be more team focused. Um, you know, the reason that they're doing this is because it led to big point differences in teams, uh, the number of members teaming up, MMR, MMR, region, ping, so on, caused all these, you know, things that people didn't enjoy. Moreover, some players exploited the teaming in order to gain unfair advantages. I mean, I don't know how people did that, because unless you're talking about like at lower advantage like you could boost to like cobra by inviting buffaloes or something if you're a good enough player but even still if you're a good enough player to do that then you could have done that in the first place so i don't know uh to disable teaming to queue is inevitable and we hope that more players will enjoy matchmaking well everyone that i've talked to has absolutely hated the change but we'll get more into that uh previous seasons enabled friends to play with uh or to enable the playing with friends of big differences in mmr and elo but it gave unsatisfying play experiences. We will bring down teaming. Um, yeah, so, okay. First of all, the whole point you play a game oftentimes is to play with friends. And if I can't play with my friends, it's kind of stupid. Also, the game's called Black Squad. Like you're, you're supposed to be with people. Now they're gonna say, like, like they said, Oh, you can play with clan, you know, clan matches. Well, I don't know if you've seen clan match lobbies recently. There's like three teams. There's literally no way to play with friends other than quick match. I don't want to do that. The second thing is in almost every other game that there's that is super competitive, they have the ability to play with other people. You have, you know, Valorant, you can have full queues. CSGO, you can have full queues. It doesn't make any sense. Now, I'm fine with them removing squads. You know, if, if that's the way that they feel like they want to 
you know, move the direction of the game, that's fine. But they should have at least had duos. Because, as I mentioned in my last video, now I can't even find games because I'm on west coast of North America. And so I can't play in any regions other than North America, which doesn't have a large player base, so I can't really play. So that's ridiculous. Secondly, like I said, the whole reason I, I played this game was to play with friends. I mean, there's no competitive scene anymore. That all died off. So, uh, you know, this whole, like, playing solo thing, I have no reason to, like, grind out anything. It's pointless. Also, the rewards they're giving out are absolute garbage. If, if the other, uh, you know, skins and stuff are any indication as, to, you know, you know, them moving BS coin skins like seven days or whatever, the, these, this is going to be terrible rewards. Absolutely terrible. There's no reason to grind anything. You know, it doesn't prove anything. Um, they, if they removed or, or lowered the MMR point decrease by inactivity, which, I mean, that, even if you were to do that by itself, I think that would be a stupid change, but they're actually doing it with all these other stupid changes. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous. Seven days was already too much. People couldn't, like, go home for Christmas because, um, you know, if you didn't play your seven days, you'd lose a bunch of points. Uh, it, it's it's kind of ridiculous. I don't know what they changed it to. They just said it will be applied faster. I haven't finished my games or anything. Um, so I, w I don't know what that is. If, if you guys know, make, you know, let me know in the comments below. Um, we found the currency. Uh, they're talking about rewards. The current currency is said their own rules for designated purposes, currencies misused, uh, medals, personal achievements. Um, they're just talking about how you'll get higher rewards with higher ranks, go figure. Uh, then they just go on and talk about, you know, general information for that that's not really important. So what's my thoughts on the state of Black Swag going forward? Well, I'm I want to say this as honestly as I can, while not being doom and gloom, but just being honest. I was okay with Valoff making changes. I think um, change, while can be you know usually received pretty negatively, it can be good, and uh, you know Black Squad needed some change, but this change is too much. They have they are going to destroy the game to a point where there will be no point of return it, once they reach a certain point with player base and and like i said i'm not saying this just for emphasis i truly have yet to meet a player who thinks this is a good change i've talked to a lot of people a lot of people have come into my stream asking why i'm not playing black squad i'm going to tell you i have yet to meet a single person who thinks that this is an even an okay change Almost everyone thinks that there should be a, a duo queue aspect. Um, they are destroying the game. The game will be dead uh, very shortly. There will be absolutely no reason to play it in a couple months at this rate. Because there won't be enough players to play. Um, I mean, that's my thoughts on the state of the game. And like I said, I, I was the first one. If you go back and watch my last update when Valve took over, my, my last update video, I was the first one to be like, hey, let's give these guys a chance. They've, you know, had previous successes with other games when they've taken them over, or at least, you know, attempts to be successful. Let's give them a chance. A chance has been given. Uh, too many chances have been given at this point. They don't listen. Um, and honestly, the game's just in a bad place. For those of you that watched my last video, AVA is coming out soon, so we have that to look forward to. I'll be I'll be switching over, to making a bunch of content for that. Um, and like I said, I, I'm gonna try to make Black Squad content. This is making it next to impossible, uh, but we'll see. Maybe we can get some clan matches in there and stuff. I, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I know you know my subscriber base has followed me mostly for Black Squad, and I want to try to continue to do so. Uh, but it's definitely not gonna be at the uh, frequency that I did before and yeah we'll, we'll we'll see what happens let me know what you guys think of these changes like I said I have yet to uh, to meet anyone who thinks that they're positive but if you do please let me know in the comments below I would love to have a discussion thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time